Just a mouthwash commercial. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it's, it's called. You never gargled. It's called gurgling. gargling. I know. Was, like, that, was why? Most, <laughs> that was the most like stereotypical gargle. It was, it's, it's, it's like the, the, right. the clip art from like Microsoft Word. They literally do commercials. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're gonna start it on that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to number twenty-two. Twenty-three. 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 Um, we have comments Say from last times. week. Yeah. So easy way to start this podcast. Top comment was there needs to be a full minute minute dedicated to Rob's veiny hands. <laughs> oh, so. he's, got like a, he's got a valley of muscle. I've never seen that on a horse. It's a valley of it's, muscle. Yeah. Put your hand back down. Look at this thing. It's like a whoop whoop. It's the it's like the Nile River, but engraved onto my or engraved. The I Rob guess. River. <laughs> I mean, a fun minute segment to get to my veiny hands. <laughs> now I'm like so conscious about my hands being veiny. I swear Good. we. I'm, I'm ready to put them down here from now on. No I swear we read the same comment last week, but I saw it again. Fun drinking game. Take a shot every time Rob says like. Yeah. Uh, last time it was you know what I mean. Oh right, right, right. true. Yeah. Just and side note, I know I should have shaved. Just don't judge me for my facial. Now, side note is gonna be the next one. facial facial pubic hair. He always tosses a side note when there's no note. Yeah, yet. I love how Man. the first comment on that thread no is like note. his his blood would literally just be alcohol. <laughs> and it would it, if I was still in university, it would be. I haven't gotten drunk since Cuba, which is in April. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you need to get drunk. That no, that's trip, a good thing. That trip trip was fucked. Like that was enough alcohol to last me the rest of this year. That's how I haven't gotten drunk since Dominican. Yeah, it just it kinda kills the itch, you know what I mean? It's like every time I drink I just think I'm like on Dude. the verge of death, like floating in a pool in Cuba. It's just it was like, literally seven days of drinks every day. We're good. Like booze and darts for breakfast, booze, booze and darts and for lunch. Darts. Yeah. Booze and darts for dinner. <laughs> Nice little midnight snack of some uh, booze and darts. I was coughing up a lung for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's your minute I segment. Like, I, just, I, just, I just came from the gym too, so I'm very veiny right now. The sweats usually. Just gonna hold on to this for the rest oh, of the look, podcast. This like a, look at that one. It's crazy. <laughs> I didn't have any veins popping up on me until like about six months ago, so I'm happy. How much bigger his forearm is. It's just like, I actually have I think, small, I like, think the I veins have, just make it look bigger. Yeah. I have small it's wrists, insane. to be honest. Like, hey, my small wrists. wrist gag. <laughs> like, literally, though, my wrists are small, and it's like, this is like, like, undersized, Rob, and bam. Do you, wanna, do you wanna see a small wrist? Yeah. Try and fit that on your hair. I probably can, to be honest. <laughs> it's, gonna be just, it's gonna be hard to get off, though. Well, there we go, see? And then they do it up. Yeah, try. Did you th- get like a custom wrist yeah. size or watch yeah, size? How the fuck do I do this? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Ow! I pitched my arm here. <laughs> Chris, I thought he killed him. <laughs> this it's is too start. tight. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> what is this? This is ow, 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 ow. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Imagine if he was walking up the watch the this fuck? tight. <laughs> See, I told you I have small wrists, man. I got Drew sized wrists, apparently. Okay, now so, you just gotta get it off. Uh oh. Okay, that hurt my. I think I, <laughs> you guys just plucked out like a hundred of my arm and wrist hairs. So the only difference is that's loose on me. Okay. That's loose? There well, we go. Like, well, that... I felt so rich for a sec there, having that on. It's like a $20 watch. Yeah, it's like. $20? Nah, I got it on sale for like 60 Oh. How much? I thought yeah, it was normal, normal 40. 200. <laughs> <laughs> Go on set for 60. Normally it's like free. <laughs> it's like, I guess not loose, but anyway. I have a thing about like having stuff on my wrists. I don't know what it is. Me too. Like braces. I've, I've never been to able it. to get used to it. Yeah, me, too. me I, too. I like them. I like, I think they're classy and it's nice for like when you're dressing up, but I can't wear it all the time. You yeah, know? I feel that. Like I've never True. even like going to summer camp and like you know those things they put on you when you go to water mm-hmm. parks and shit. I always was like ripping, like digging at it and shit. Those are indestructible though. Yeah. Like oh the paper ones. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're so fun to take off. They they feel so good when you take them off because it feels like you just like, like broke out of prison. Yeah. <laughs> you get the like under tab and you just pull it. Dude, oh, it never works. That's for your me. I, I I pull it and like it just gets tighter and tighter and like I'm just worried about like, am I gonna like, cut off my <laughs> circulation via my Hence wrist? Hence the veins. Hence yeah. this indent <laughs> on his forearm. That, that, that's what I do before I come here. I just sit there and flex with a fucking bracelet on. <laughs> Didn't you have one of those wrist things for Cuba? All the resorts. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I hated it. Yeah. I had to get a new one like twice. Amanda worst, had hers on for like four months after. Yeah, people do that all the time. Or when they go like skiing Why? or snowboarding. I have no idea. And then people leave like their things on their jackets. Yeah. The best like, thing is it or they said tape be, over the same yeah, one over it, and It's over. like we get it. You went snowboarding like yeah. once. That's it said, so sick. Be adult. <laughs> it was like a perfect reminder. <laughs> was it was it like one of the plastic ones with the snap? Or was yeah. It like, oh, and it was so hard suck. to get off to. Yeah. But I, like, I just woke up one day and it was just gone. And like a person need it for everything, so I had to go get another one. And then the last day, I like 
the one I got to replace the first one was like really tight, especially like around here. She was like leaving a mark every day. So I like found a way to get it off. Told people I lost flexed. it. They were like, they were like, did you lose yours? Really? And the thing is going to cost you again. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. And the guy was like, you know what? I'll cut you a break this one time. <laughs> well, because my luckily the Man, guy like, tipped him a peso. Well, like they all, everyone spoke Spanish, and the guy I went like my, I went with my old roommates who's Colombian and speaks Spanish. So like the entire week it was like um, he would like talk to all the workers and get us all these like sweet kind of like seats at restaurants, deals and stuff. But they speak English. No, they don't. Not the place I went to. Like, how, how sketchy was it? Every <laughs> so, like, dude, we paid like. I'll spend fifty dollars. <laughs> we spent eleven $1, hundred bucks trip. on a round trip to Cuba. Eleven $1, hundred. That's a lot. That's so expensive. Yeah. Not for us, like, but dude, most of what I spent are, on like, my trip to Dominican. And Dominican's farther. Well, and nicer. More, <laughs> it's it's significantly nicer. Because everyone I talked to was like, "Oh, you're gonna spend like at least fifteen when you're going to Cuba and stuff." Like, I'm, I'll, I told my roommates, I was like, I'm not paying like a dime over 1200 bucks. That's my cutoff. Mm -hmm. And they were like, they all rolled their eyes, of course. And then um, we ended up finding this one place. I can say it, right? Where I went? No. Cuba. I can't Why? say it? Oh, oh, I think you said you did. Or have I said it? Like, oh, yeah. no. It was Grand Memories Veradero. And it was like, hmm. like, it was visually nice. Like, stuff looked cool. Like, when you got into like the details then of it. you turned on the sink and nothing came yep, out. Yeah. Our, our water was brown the first day. <laughs> so, really? but that's fair, yeah. though. Yeah. And, like, there was, like, just everything was kind of, like, shabby. Like, our room was, like, kind of peeling, the wallpaper. Our beds were hard as fuck. The like, resort that I went to Cuba, much use. <laughs> the resort I went to was 800 per person for a whole week. And it was a four-star resort in Cuba. What was it called? I have no idea. The fuck? What high school there? Well, I guess I, well, that's, that's my own fault because I literally didn't want a part of the planning process. So I was like, you guys figure it out. I'm not doing I'll shit. I'll show up. Because like, I was like, figure it out. I'm not spending more than 1200 Well, you guys They all me, paid it's... like 600 and took Rob's extra 600 <laughs> Like, it's hard for me to get out of the house and do anything. So you can imagine how much they had to try on me to get me to go to Cuba that for a grad trip. I didn't want to imagine. It was like weeks and weeks of like, so you coming? I'm like, nope. And literally every day it's like, you change your mind? I'm like, nope. Mm -hmm. And then the thing that changed my mind was my parents were actually just like, so are you guys doing any kind of grad trip? And then, yeah. And then they were like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. like they're like, my roommate's trying to plan something, but I'm not really about it. My parents were just like, why would you not go on your great grad trip? Most parents time? are like, oh, don't go like save your money. Your parents well, like, like, I think, go, what, I think what they wanted was a part of like, they were going to pay a part of it. And that was going to be my birthday present. Uh, so they were probably just like, few. you don't have to buy his anything. His parents were like, go. And also, Rob, why are you spending so much money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I showed up and I had like nowhere near enough stuff. I had money that lasted me two days. No, <laughs> I, had, I forgot my sunscreen. That's that, that was kind of gross. But like still, you need to have like clothes, sunscreen. Like, uh, <laughs> dude, I ran out of clothes like day four. I was like <laughs> dipping my boxers in like the beach and, and, <laughs> like, and drawing them packing out. packing his bag, going away for a week. So, like got a shirt. <laughs> Really though, like, you just need like swim trunks. Yeah. All right, well, like you live in swim trunks, and like, but, like one set of nice clothes if you go to like a alcart. Yeah, I had bought like like probably three nice shirts, mm -hmm. two bathing suits, which yeah, I lived fine. in. I got the nastiest crotch rot though, <laughs> because you're just loading in a shower. soggy bath. I did shower, but like you shower and put back on your wet bathing suit. <laughs> Well, then you put on shorts after you. I'm show. not. I was hammered the whole time. I'm not thinking. About <laughs> I'm literally getting out of the shower. Like I'm only showering just for the sake of like being able to sit at the dinner and not throw up. You know what I mean? I'm not showering to like True. for like sanitary reasons. Then that's why you got crotch rot. Yeah, probably. But you know, it's it, definitely. I, I came home and just baby powder the shit out of my junk for like a week straight, and it went away. Rob just like buys out all of Zare's gold bond. Literally, I literally bought like a fucking like uh not leader whatever you just call like the bigger Man, one gold Jeez. gold bond sells a cream it's worth it where do you put it <laughs> <laughs> carts carts but i don't know it was worth it um i had fun but yeah me and annie are trying to plan for a trip because like so are we, are we going Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, if you guys want, we could do a group one, but I know Shane said he wanted to wait till November. But yeah, I got lots of disposal and <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> like so, what, right now what we've been Whoa. thinking, we want to go to Hawaii, and then I found out it's twenty five hundred dollars per person. I was like, fuck, big no. yikes. <laughs> yikes! And it's Hawaii also not so it's pricey. not all inclusive. Not no, all drinks are paid for separately. I was like, it's probably a fortune too. That's yeah, painful. Good luck convincing Rob to go somewhere like that. Yeah. So then now we're looking at like <laughs> obviously Caribbean, it's the cheapest. So like maybe Dominican or Caribbean. any of the other islands. Mm -hmm. Bahamas look nice, but that's also a little bit more expensive. I want to go to Fiji. Fiji. I want to drink some Fiji water. Why don't you just sounds like, like I don't know, leaving the city. 
<laughs> and then, and then, then jumped to Fiji because <laughs> you guys always make fun of me for leaving the city. Leaving True, the, don't guess, leave us. I guess if you, as soon as you leave, Christian's got something to bring up next podcast. Being like, "Oh, you're going to Vancouver today or Australia or whatever." <laughs> no, it's it's always Vancouver. No, Vancouver, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And his friends always come from Australia, Australia, or okay. Vancouver. They only come once a year, but like. 52 times a year. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Hey. It's 52, it's 52 it's weeks in a, a year. Once, yeah. It's once a month. <laughs> you got it, buddy. We heard it. But yeah, we're trying to figure out a vacation just because... So Annie has like a two-week gap between semesters and when, then... When is this again? Uh, I think she finishes April 15th. And then we have until... Yeah, 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 my birthday is right around then. When does... Um, doesn't summer school leave you with like a week or two in the end of August? But she would ideally be starting her job like right away right away so fucking good luck chuck um Oof. yeah fuck that it took me like seven six months to get my well like job she, job she has like her old boss who's like we want to hire you I so still, like i had that too though. You, i would still take a week for yeah. yourself yeah even if you don't yeah. do anything uh, I guess she, she loves working like she wants to work she like, kept talking about how she wants to just finish school already so she can just go i was work. gonna say i agree with that yeah, i said that too but like when I graduated, I was like sick. Jobless. Don't have a yeah. Literally, it's like I don't I don't have a job. It's a sick. Just graduated. First week goes by. Second week starts. You're like, hey, I am bored as fuck. I need six something to do. Six months later. Six months later. <laughs> then the first paycheck rolls in. You're like, okay, yeah. get used to this. Yeah, I can definitely do this. But then yeah, Roger saved my life, and then I'm finally finally hired. Yeah. Congratulations so now you can come to on myself. vacation with us. Yeah. True. Both yeah, yeah. figure it out. Get them yeah. fat paychecks. I was I was re-listening to the one of the first podcasts to one I was talking about when I had like one more viewer. <laughs> I had like seventeen dollars for the one day. <laughs> I was like, he's Holy like looking fuck. back crying. <laughs> like, I was like, Rob's looking at his bank account. He's got eighteen now. He's like, how far are we? Dude, I remember <laughs> waking up every day checking my like mobile banking to see like it just sounds if depressing. I, if I'm negative because like I was never sure when my phone or like if car insurance is coming out. So like every day I'm like I could wake up and fucking be like bankrupt. You know what I mean? Good times. And then, like, I have to, like, then, like, I figure out when my insurance is coming out. Then I have to ask my parents. Usually, my mom be like, so, <laughs> usually my mom, the parental engineer. Being like, hey, um, you know, your son's running low on some funds over here. His car insurance is about to come out. I'm your not, baby boy is uh, broke. I'm not trying to drop, like, below zero in, like, my entire bank account. So, but it worked out, sort of. Jeez. We survived. But now I can pay you back that bet that uh, we made last week. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! We didn't cover that. Yeah, Rob lost. If, Rob lost. If, Surprise! Yeah, so update, Rob. How Rob was his first time climbing. Uh, Humbled. It was humbling experience to say the least. <laughs> um, like the thing is, it's like I figured since I like you know I go to the gym and stuff, I would be able to like last like longer than I did. I left with that feeling of like n- like knowing I could have done a little more if i had only like like put the time in like mm-hmm. practice type thing and you had been scared shitless well i'm scared nah, that wasn't, to begin that wasn't with. too uh, like like i would get to the top of the wall and, and then like, you'd campus back down like. <laughs> <laughs> and then like i'm dangling there like with my feet hanging below <laughs> me and you guys are like just drop me and you're pretty much touching i looked down it was like six feet of no, air it was six <laughs> drop, I, I just loved seeing rob like be so close to the floor like two feet off and I'm like rob drop it's two feet and then his feet would go up, but his hands would just stay there. Like, <laughs> why that, can't I leave? It's, it's a weird happening. feeling. Like, I'm trying my hardest just to let go of the wall, but, like, my brain just isn't letting me. You have to practice. It was yeah. literally Michael Scott in a koi pond. Rob hanging out on the wall. episode. But still, it's like, it feels like it's like you want to do it so bad. You know what I mean? It's like when you try to take your first dive into a pool or something. The problem is you have to, like, push off. Like, you can't just fall down. Just, like, all the walls are, like, angled and yeah. shit. So it's He's like above you, one of those, you just, like, like, smack your face off. The volumes <laughs> and just boom, boom, boom. I think the best thing is, like, the realization that, like, you did your first one, came down, and then when you realize, like, this is our warm-up, yeah. that's when you're, like, off. Oh, Nile and I were, like, <laughs> we see you guys doing some crazy shit, and Nile and I were, like, let's do that super easy one over there. Do it. And then I come down, and my forearms are just, like, <laughs> pulsing in my hand. I can't make a fist. I'm really pressing my hand into, like, the bench to be able to move my... I cook it up, I'm trying to fist bump you guys, and we're going like this, because I can't fucking make a fist. We're, like, bumping, like, fucking cartilage. That's what it is, Wait, right? was that was Rob there when you got your other V four? Yeah, I I don't know if you guys are watching. I think they Maybe. were doing the V zero <laughs> beside yeah. me. Did you see him do that yellow one in the corner, which was like all half circles? He had to jump and touch it. When I was at the top, no, and I'm like no. Shane. Uh, I done that one early for them anyway. 
but maybe done it earlier in the day. Oh, yeah. the one that's right was right beside the warm up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I did see you do that one actually. I got that one now as well. Oh, geez. which was they're tied now. It was hilarious. Three, three. I, I'm like so worn out, and then I'm like, and fuck, he, I'll just try one. But he comes over to me, he's like, <sighs> like just pissed. And he's like, okay, <laughs> tell me how you do this again. <laughs> and then he he told me, it. I was just like, I started like pulled myself up a little bit. I was like, no, 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 this isn't right. Just kind of like reposition. And as soon as I grabbed the other side and realized I had like the one trick to it, I was like, I gotta do this. I gotta fucking yeah. go. It's all over. <laughs> just climb straight That's up. That's it. Like as soon as you match that, just, you're fine. Like yeah. I will admit, it blows my mind that you guys can do that multiple. Not alone once per week, multiple times per week. Because, like, my maybe I'm just a diva. My hands are still fucked. Like, I was at the gym just today, and I still can't, like, do stuff I want to do. Because if, so if I squeeze too hard, like, the callus, like, the scab, it's whatever you would call that, just falls off and yeah. starts bleeding again. That's what I was saying on stream today. I was just, like, for someone who's, like, so big and works out so much, Rob, you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> a fucking pussy. That's Come on. a bit of a hyperbole. <laughs> but... Oh, another thing I wanted to debate this: the whole bench press slash gym strength thing. Oh, I love I'm obviously this. joking. Okay, <laughs> I'm serious, dude. It's so hard to tell sometimes. Rob's ego just hurt. Was that in the group chat? I think so. I, don't I, know. I, I brought it back up last week sometime. I, I don't I, remember when. Basically, um, I was roasting Rob for not being able to climb, and then I was just like, "That's like where the real strength is." And he's like, "Oh, I want to see you bench press." I was like, "Oh, that's not a true testament of like strength." <laughs> yeah, but like, and he was getting. Like, he's like, okay, but no, that, kind of, that, that's when like you get a, stuck under a car. That's like a logical thing that you, you Christian would argue sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> how could I possibly uh, argue? I feel that? like it's something I would troll argue too. Yeah, you today yeah. you were like, I was like, um, they use it as in the NFL as like a measure as like a measurement to see, it. and you were just like, who cares? They're all this big and fat, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but that's true. Have you seen half I the guess, players? Yeah, like they have big man strength. Oh, I also I want to mention they have this. Big Mac strength. Literally, they have fucking like Bourbon Street strength. <laughs> I loved fucking with you today on stream because um so today they announced the new like the name of the yeah, new season. Yeah, I heard season. you saying the name of the fucking season right after I left cuz he was like, "Dude, don't tell anyone." Like this is top so notch. I, on stream I was just like they just announced like the name of the new season, but I was like, "Rob, Rob, I know what the name of the new season is, but you can't tell anyone." He's like, "Oh, okay." And I was like, "I'm muting myself on stream right now so I can tell you." And then I said so I was like, "It's Operation Void Edge." He's like, oh, and then he's like, to China, he's like, I have it. I can't tell you. Guys. And I'm all my chat's everything. just like, they're all laughing. They're like, he doesn't know. Because <laughs> it's one of those things, Oof. again, like, uh, yeah, I'm gullible, but still, it's one of those things that's like, okay. No, 100%, like, if you would not know. There's that's, something, I was like, okay, there could be something at stake here if I say this. Yeah. In my brain, I'm like, this is a little suspicious because you're like, I'm muting my chat, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> And then I was like, okay, I'm going to have to fact check chat to see if they actually don't know it yet. And I just and never did. And chat just trolls you because it's Twitch. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> Fucking guy, man. Dude, I've been so gullible lately, though. Like, I've been, I've been getting pranked a lot. <laughs> Even at, like, We're work. starting a prank channel, by the way. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm going to be the subject of all of them. Yep. <laughs> yep. And, well, I drew will chip in. It's going to be a prank war, but, like, <laughs> gotcha, not buddy. us pranking each other. It's going to be a war of, like, who can prank Rob the most. Drew's <laughs> sitting over here like, thank God Rob's here. Because it, it would <laughs> yeah. be me otherwise. <laughs> I'm just really gullible. <laughs> Like, I'm trying to think of, like, really bad jokes that have gotten by me before. I'll, I'll, I'll rack my brain, and I'll follow up in a sec here. Because I know that there's, cause there's been, like, a few times where I've just sat there being, like, I am such a dumbass. Well, on the topic of oh, pranks. I have one already. Right, you go ahead, then. It was, like, I had a, I think this happened Jeez. to everybody at one point. I had a Kijiji ad up in my, um. Which it, is, like, Craigslist for the Oh, Americans yeah, it's, like, you just, like. Do they not have Kijiji? Kijiji's can, can eat in only. Oh, I had no idea. But I was selling some old shit from my second student house and i could sling it in where i lived at the time too so like you got all kinds of fucked people messaging you right because you know where you guys know what i'm talking about like mm -hmm. the dirty b yeah like they want to have a threesome and shit pretty yeah dirty mike and the You're boys selling a bed dirty mike 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 and the it's like a grandpa and a grandma thanks for the soup kitchen yeah <laughs> i'll give you a gummers for your love seat <laughs> gummers D the denture gummers though. no like gummies oh okay i guess that makes yeah. sense yeah. little g-rated action you know got to keep it no, and then they blow you. Out there. Huh? And then they blow you. Whoa. Yeah, and then, then, then they give you blow job right after. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, I was selling something. I think it was like a bunch of old, like it's a bunch of old NHL games and like I think like my yeah. old controller. And then I made the mistake of telling my friends in my program about it. And then of course this one guy he messaged me. It starts off legit. He's like, oh, like blah blah blah. Like where where do you meet? Because it can be he's bartering me prices. Like they're like they're reasonable. I'm thinking to myself, man, this guy's like 
he's almost willing to pay full price. This is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And then I was, he, he offers you above your, asking <laughs> and price. then the next day we're getting to the point where it's meeting. And then I was like, Oh, so like, where do you want, where, and the person's like, do you have a location that you had in mind? And I was like, Oh, what about you? And the message back just saying D's nuts in all capitals. Someone just trolled the fuck out. And I was ready. Cause I needed that money too. I was like, Fuck. <laughs> For like a day and a half. <laughs> it's a, some guy on YouTube actually did that. He like highballed everyone on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> and they're all just like getting so annoyed with him. They're like, dude, what the fuck? But then he actually like, people who like decided to meet up with him, he actually like gave them more uh, money than that's wholesome. Oh, that's nice. Some Mr. Yeah. Beast type But it was shit funny because people mm. were like, no, fuck off. Like it's $10. <laughs> it's like it's $100 right now. And they're like, whatever, you're wasting my time. It's like that one SpongeBob scene where it's the tongue of Patrick. And the, so someone's like, Patrick, this costs five bucks. And Patrick's like, I only have seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, but speaking of pranks, remind me, you guys watched like college humor back in the day? Mm-hmm. They like had a long like, time ago. Yeah, a really long time ago. They had a prank war series going on between two of the guys. And then like it got to the point where one of the guys went to the baseball game with his girlfriend. And they don't even been dating for like a month. And the other guy was like really upset about whatever the prank was last time. So then he paid for the jumbo screen to be like blank will, will you, you marry me <laughs> and then the girl's like freaking out in the middle of the game and they're all like focused on him and he's like getting stuff thrown at him <laughs> all this shit and they're like and it, the girl broke broke up with him after that and she's just like fuck Jeez, this I'm he like, was everything. so pissed after did you guys watch bf versus gf no oh, yeah, way that. way back oh, yeah. i never watched that I thought, was, I thought it was all shit i watched this well, it was 100 fake like yeah, looking back shit. on it now look did you watch kenny versus spenny yeah, yeah, that was, that was the best <laughs> okay so at my school we had dirty bingo nights and dirty bingo what does nights? that mean <laughs> it's like bingo but dirty, drinks it's like dirty they, they do Talk like dirty jokes in stuff? between and then you get like sex toys and stuff if you win ah anyway what <laughs> spenny oh, hosted why do you say this really <laughs> yeah <laughs> You say this Jeez. like it's like something everyone's gone to. Yeah, dirty bingo nights. You could have gone. You went to the same school. Spenny. What, what school was it? Spenny, Where was was it? Spenny <laughs> hosted one. Really? Yeah, yeah, it was fucking hilarious. I, I didn't know they're from Toronto. Yeah, they are. Yeah. All that shit was happening literally in, in Toronto. Toronto. <laughs> Some of this stuff is like insane. It was on yeah. Netflix for a while. It might still be. Wasn't one of them where like they made one of the two like stay <clears throat> locked in like a room for a month straight? It was just whoever yeah. left first kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Fucking crazy. They They're had crazy. the dumbest shit. I loved it. The original Mr. Beast. Have you no. Seen no. It? no. no. <laughs> they did not give it they a million dollars. They publicly shamed each other. Yeah. <laughs> just slandering each other to the point of needing a court case. <laughs> no, I mean, they literally. actually like hate each other. Or something? Or? Yeah, I, I saw know. something that felt like there was a report that came out that they actually hated each other. There was a I new story. Like a it wouldn't surprise after. me. Oh, well, like I mean, you spend your whole life Kenny trolling the fuck out of kind of an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. The whole time. Must be. Oh, do you guys ever watch Silent Library? On the yeah, TV? it was amazing. Oh, I don't know why that was reminded me of it. No clue. It's like a game show where people like made you do fuck shit and like, you couldn't be loud. You failed. Uh-huh. Yeah, and there's like some really strict host that just wouldn't smile. <laughs> it was a, it was a really good show, mm-hmm. but. Um, you guys ever watch Mike Tyson Mysteries? No. You ever watch? You need da- to go watch. Ever watch Don Cherry's Rock'em Sock'em? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mike Tyson Mysteries is literally like Scooby Doo, but it's like a animated Mike Tyson, voiced by Mike Tyson. So and it's aren't like, the stories all hard, by him as well? Yeah, hard pass. So like the first yeah. one, they're trying to like investigate like this monster, and he's like, "It's the Tupacabra." <laughs> His hard, voice kills me. Hard pass. But the, it's the, so funny. The prank videos that always kill me though, or it's like. It's like a guy pranking his like it's like fake going to army prank or something like that. And like he's like he invites his girlfriend over and he has like a bunch of shit laid out. He's like, I'm I'm joining the army, I'm deploying, like you're never gonna see me again. And the chick just starts bawling and looks like a really emotional moment. And the guy's just like, Look, there's a camera, it's just the <laughs> it's, army going away, kids probably like a camo shorts, a water bottle, yeah, like, <laughs> like a fucking sweatband. MRE pack that he bought online. Yeah. <laughs> What's well, so like all those prank shows while they were hilarious, started the whole sp- like subgenre on YouTube of just shitty prank channels, yeah. or like going yeah. into hood with a gun, yeah. see what happens, like, or it's like, <laughs> like slapping people in public. Like, Whoa, I didn't expect that. Yeah, did you know that one of the YouTubers actually got shot and killed? Honestly, because well, he went okay. into the hood, and he's just like, but then he got killed. He's like, can you kiss my little ass to like people in Compton? And then they were like, <laughs> what'd you just say? And then like he had like a little donkey figure that he had like in his back pocket, and he's like, kiss this, and they were all pissed off, and like eventually one of them just shot him. I don't think he deserves to die, but he definitely he deserves definitely, to get shot. Or he was definitely barking up the wrong tree, <laughs> as they like, say. Shoot him in the arm so he never does it again. Jesus. 
Man, that's just stupid. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yikes. Or it's like, um, I, I saw one, but it was along the same lines. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. Oh, fuck. It was something where someone was asking. Oh, it was a guy running around like like a neighborhood. Like, you know how people like care a lot about their shoes? And he would like talk about them and then he'd try and step on their shoes really quick after. And then he just got the shit kicked out of them. <laughs> it was like, on, I saw like an Instagram live of it happening. It was pretty wild. That's like, there's a camera. They, they think the camera's going to stop the guy from yeah. beating the shit out of you. No. <laughs> just like, uh, he was literally like talk, walking up to groups of guys, like ask them a question. Then quickly would try and like step on all their shoes with like dirty shoes on purpose. And they would just throw them to the ground and beat the shit out of them. I and then he was just like, content, what can you do? <laughs> I, I don't get the whole appeal of like buying shoes and then like not being able to get them dirty. Yeah, like, or anything like that. sneaker heads are like next level in my mm-hmm. opinion. But I know breed. people people I know and my like went to school with, they spend like $800 on like shoes on like Jeez. third party marketplaces to get special Man. editions just to leave them in their closet and never wear them. If Weird. you're going to wear them, fine, whatever. Yeah. You like you like it, you spend money on it, but yeah. I don't understand the this, display Yeah, piece. this guy has the pipe. 50 pairs of shoes so uh you guys know roy the other content creator yeah. I thought. Mm-hmm. so yeah boy yeah i love him greatest boy, guy yeah, ever boy roy but he's like half sneakerhead ish and he had these like white yeezys that he brought to raleigh and then when we were gonna go to the after party he's like i don't want to walk because i don't want to crease the shoes <laughs> oh, and we no. were like what and he's just so like you just get him you he, carry him the whole way there <laughs> no so like he walked but he like walks slowly and carefully walks on his heels. He's like, he doesn't want his toes to crease the, like the front of the shoe and then we we're like oh let's like cut through here because otherwise we have to go like way down a street and cur- tur- curve around and he's like i don't want to walk there like it could be muddy because it was grass he's like walking My like super slow goodness. with his take shoes take one take like, one for the team and carry the guy yeah <laughs> he's carrying your career come on <laughs> carry the guy <laughs> Fair. <laughs> yeah, we, we still roast him for it now. We're like do you have the shoes to walk around with us and do anything this guy probably ties like zara's bags to his shoes before he goes anywhere <laughs> yeah i just don't get it it's like why would you buy the shoes if you don't want like, anyone to see you wearing them are you just gonna leave them in your house and be like Damn, it's just something you'd be like I, like, I, got, I got yeezys it's I'm, an investment. I can't, I have one pair of shoes that I like never wear, but they're like my it's high. Don't go to the house. They're my high top Converse's <laughs> that are like the color of my YouTube oh, yeah. channel with okay. my Varsity logo on the side. Well, it's different. So that's I'm like, like a, that's like that's, that's special. like a trophy. Yeah, it's like than, memorabilia uh, rather than like. But like, if shoes. you were to spend a thousand dollars on those, Fuck no. that's like, that's not a trophy. You just spend a thousand dollars on shoes. Mm-hmm. You just spend a thousand dollars on a trophy. <laughs> true but, yeah, yeah, hey, what, do you, have, what do you mean <laughs> wait, how did that you shouldn't have to thing. buy true. a trophy it's like you, if you buy this thing, you know, I mean I bought the shoes nuts. I was gonna say like he bought the shoes it's a trophy but they were like a hundred dollars why the fuck you wear them <laughs> I don't get it I'm fucking dead <laughs> I don't know why so I agreed with you that's right yeah, yeah like it's, you could spend the thousand dollars on a sick pair thing. of shoes and I was it's like, a trophy you could have been like yeah I got the was like he's like he was saying the same thing I was I was like it's the same process yeah uh, Christian's like, yeah, man, exactly. <laughs> In my head, it made sense. But I mean, like that has personal meaning. Wait, like, did you what get personal those? meaning? Does given to a you? generic pair? Of I'm trying. I'm pretty sure things. I paid for them, but they might have been free. They might but have been you, part you of. You got a them for free. I'm pretty sure you oh, talked yeah, about it was like when a, you were doing it. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. a sponsorship They were sent thing to me. Yeah. Remember I, the first time I saw them at your house? They were by your door and I kicked them as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> they still, they're still stuffed to this Rob's day. literally that guy that was on the video, like, kicking he people's shoes. shoes and getting... I gotta find that, dude. You guys like, gotta remember shoot when your I saw those and I put them down the composter? <laughs> <laughs> remember when prank. I spat on them and dumped, like, red ink all over them? Good times. <laughs> It's a prank, bro. Literally just a prank. That's why he's keeping them. They're sentimental. Yeah. They have the red ink. They have a story. It's <laughs> a <laughs> blood. Oh, no. It's just red ink. Funny story about red ink on Converse. Okay. I've had the same gym shoes, <laughs> Converse gym shoes for... Are you using for deadlifting? No, just like everything. They were just deadlifts for a bit, but now they're everything. Anyways, I spoke pre-workout on them once, and there's like red and pink. And every time someone sees that, it's like, oh, like they think my feet are like bleeding or something. And sometimes <laughs> I'll just go along with that for fun. Be like, yeah, dude, I was deadlifting so hard. My shit just fucking popped one day. <laughs> and they're just like, you, man. I still wear them. I literally shit myself and blood came spurting <laughs> out of my foot. <laughs> I don't know. Rob just thinks it's like a six story. Like, yeah. It's really easy to fuck with people. The girl is just like, I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> I have the same running shoes since high school as well i don't know why I just there's like a them. pair of reeboks with like the stripes on the side and like my toe is literally like sticking out the one side <laughs> you like, I need rock climbing yeah i need to get he a new that pair. One toe yeah i used to have longboarding shoes and like because your one foot you used to stop my Long. toe would literally poke through the bottom of the shoe and i just refused to get new ones for that's some fucked, yeah 
I always wanted to get a longboard while we were at like the same school because you know how you have to go down like one long street yeah. to get there. I wanted to get one of the boosted boards. I didn't realize they're like two thousand mm-hmm. dollars. We were talking about this. I tr- my buddy has one. He got one used. It is insane. Like I've I've longboarded for like years, and I got on that thing, and I almost just got shot right off, like on the oh. board. <laughs> like there's so much torque on those things. It's oh, absolutely yeah. crazy. All electric. That yeah, sucks. but it's nuts. Do you, do you guys ever skateboard or try to? No, I could. I tried to. The same I could do like a kick flip and a heel flip. I could never. And that was it. I couldn't I even could, get on a board. <laughs> I could like go from the street to the sidewalk. You know, get over the curb. That's it. Even that's oh, like a an ollie. No, like, like just right off, off the curb. Like no, go fall off up, the curb. Go up. Yeah, that's an ollie. Oh, okay. Yeah. I tried to go like from curb to the road once. And I was leaning too far back. And I just—I think I got a concussion that day. I just <laughs> and Rob has been like this the ever board since. The board slid right from under my foot, and I went straight back. I was an escape board kid. My head I was a curve. scooter kid. I was Sco- a you were like razor old. scooter. I had my that fucking helps. razor. Yeah, dude. I when, wanna... it, when it hits your ankle, though, it's like GG legs. It's worth it. Though. Yeah. Uh, I, I, always, I won uh... a Dunlop at the grade five science fair, and <laughs> what's a Dunlop? It's a scooter, scooter brand. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was a Healy's kid. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) shocking. They came back. Yeah, Yeah, sure. I can remember. Hydro dip them for a video. Hydro dip them. I can remember, like, trying to, like, teach myself how to jump on the scooter. And the way as a kid you do this is, like, you try to jump one of the sewer grates. Yeah. (laughs) And, like, first try, jump, land, and the tire lands perfectly in the sewer (laughs) grate. I do, like, a flip. Straight forward. Yeah. We used to make home videos of, like, my buddy had this mini ramp, like, literally this big and this tall. And we'd ride off it on our rollerblades and make videos of it and then, like, watch them. Why does that not surprise me? Yeah, <laughs> suburbs. Fuck rollerblades. Drew, Drew was those like the kids with rollerblades and like the super short shorts and neon tank top. Oh, yeah. Like uh-huh. guys, we're Sunglasses so cool. Don't forget the headband. <laughs> no, the visor. Like oh, the, true. The visor, but the like visor. flipped upside down, and, like put on sideways. <laughs> like a rally cap. I, I had a visor face. I think we all did at one point. Maybe. I had a. I had I a Nike no visor. Christian. No. Nope. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you guys are all hat people. A visor and vest face. Vest. I, I still I you appreciate a, his vest. When? What's that? When I've when seen was your Shane vest wear vests. Was, I've seen him wear vests. It was vest. like like beginning of Zare's times. Really? Yeah, because he always came in wearing a big puff one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had this like yeah. big oh, green vest. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were oh, talking about like a yeah. like a dressy vest. No, no, like, no, no. <laughs> just wearing like a random t shirt like that. No, it's like, <laughs> like a vest. <laughs> just just like has, like a sweater vest face. Well that that's fine. Exactly. I like those where it's like Exactly, I'm a fucking icon. <laughs> One of my favorite pieces of apparel that I own is like a black gym shark. Had to flex the brand real quick. It's like a it's like a sleeveless Sponsor shirt. I've never seen you wear gym shark. It's because I'm always wearing. It's like a sleeveless shirt. Things. It's one of those ones that have nothing. <laughs> so it's got all this. It's literally like a this sleeveless fingers. shirt, sleeveless sweater. It has a hood on it, but it's like a sweater uh, with no sleeves. Uh, I, I love, love it. I heard it was the ugliest thing. In the world. <laughs> no, it's because I got that from a thrift store. It was a long sleeve. And then I got a shirt and I ripped the sleeves off because I was going to a country concert in the summer with Bree and I didn't have anything country. And I showed up wearing like a white shirt, that, and then my Burks and Bree's just like, what the fuck? What are you doing? It's like, not good. I fit in. Wait, were, were you wearing your white jeans also? No. Oh. No, no, you wouldn't fit in then. You got to wear blue jeans. <laughs> yeah. I, that When you wore that to rock climbing, Annie has never told me a story in like such great detail <laughs> and like stressing how much she hated it. She's just like, it was this, way too warm. She's like, this fucker Drew comes in. With, like, <laughs> she said she didn't even re- realize Brie was there because his sweater was so ugly. What was it again? <laughs> a ripped up, ripped up it's sweater? It's like, you know, you get those plaid shirts, but they have the hood like yeah. sewn in it's one of those but i ripped the sleeves <laughs> off that's like fucking corner gas like yeah, yeah. that's like yeah. maritime canada like it gas was not station. good it was sick i love oh, that gosh thing. i mean the where'd you go boots is that what it, where it was the country no thing? no it was uh it was just, i've seen like, that a boost before it was a country concert at the scholarship whatever whatever that oh, lawn okay. area i don't know what they call it now no, the molson amphitheater yeah, I'm pretty sure it's owned by Scotia now. So the wow. Scotia Amphitheater. <laughs> yeah, it, it, new person owns it every time. You probably it's still the Sky Dome, if you ask me. You probably wouldn't be the worst dressed person there, though. That's what yeah. they all look like. I thought I was fitting in. Co- like country concerts are like a cesspool of just like plaid. gross plaid, like yeah. jean, ripped jean shorts. Like ugh. I went to like a like once for like a day, and I just was like, I literally feel like I've lost brain cells being here for more than two hours. Why yeah. did you go to one? Fair. I was dragged there by uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. somebody. A girlfriend at the time? Yeah. Okay. 
And I was just like, I don't want to be here. And I made it very clear that I didn't want to go. And yet you went. And then I still went. And this is just... the perfect segue. What are we all doing for Valentine's? I know you have decent plans. Uh huh. Uh huh. Going to an Airbnb with Brisif. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Pump. Airbnb. Yeah. Make sure you make that give the thing in one piece. The t- 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 <laughs> time cut. It's the literally just back. down the street from Bree's house. <laughs> yeah, it was not very far. Her parents rented house. out. <laughs> what are you doing, Montreal? Oh right, what are you Montreal. doing? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm so happy, man. <laughs> I even want to like. Rob, what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> want to know how I got these veins? <laughs> <laughs> vascularity cheat code don't try this at home no but uh no, please try it at home <laughs> whoa are you encouraging are you encouraging this? i just don't want you to do it in public oh they were saying no, everybody oh, oh. <laughs> you're just like try it at home yeah i thought you were saying quick tweet, go out there and just rub one out real results. quick yeah. oh. tweet, tweet me a video i thought you were saying like don't jerk off at home like no please jerk off at home i just don't want you to jerk off i'm not even talking about jerking off man your mind's okay. in the gutter Mm. But um, no, I'm looking forward. He's going grocery shopping. He's gonna carry the bags with that hand. I'm I'm probably gonna crank 90s all day on Valentine's Day. I can't wait. <laughs> Spend what? it with the boys. <laughs> Spend it with the boys mean? cranking 90s. Fortnite. Oh. Yeah, I'm in a Fortnite phase right now. This he he has That's the audacity the to tell me <laughs> that me being on TikTok is like means I'm 12 years old while he plays Fortnite daily. I'd say it's a fair argument. It's pretty close. TikTok is like. <laughs> He's also a 12 year old. That's the only problem. I also problem. showed him a few TikToks and he was laughing at them. And as soon as it t- yeah, ends, he's like, I can't laugh at this. The ones you've sent have been actually pretty good. <laughs> the one I'm not going to lie. Rob is pretty funny. But um, yeah. the other one was, you know, it was a TikTok. Wasn't blown away by it, to say the least. There are, like, there's a huge amount of garbage on there. Like, every single time I'm scrolling through, there's always going to be, like, these bots who are just dancing and then they have a million likes. The worst is, like, when it's, like, a double one and there's like yeah, yeah, yeah. T- and it's like a girl and a guy singing to each other and it's just beyond cringe <laughs> man i always skip those but like i always look for the skits and like the gaming stuff and also usually either the short people ones i, I sent that to you they have like a really <laughs> funny one which is like a normal song and like they're like how tall people shake hands and like they just go to shake hands it's like how short people shake hands and it goes like mario music and the cameras on the floor it's just like <laughs> hopping around you, you we were saying you should start siege tiktoks remember yeah, they're popular. They're very popular. So what's 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 stopping you? It's it. not really worth it. So I, I was like, bread. I was looking at the numbers. All these like really popular siege TikTok people that keep popping siege up in my feed. Like I go to their account and they have like two hundred thousand followers. Every single video gets like a hundred thousand likes. And then I went to their YouTube channel and they have like seven thousand viewers or subs and like. 2,000 views per exactly. video. So, so you have like a million on TikTok. You already have them beat. Just get after it. No, but like, it, there's no carryover. Just literally like, force them off. Yeah. Just take their you, platform you, just because you can. You can squeeze them out. Yeah. You can be like, hey, everyone. It's like I'm making... when you have Hey, guys, Chris here from Varsity Games. Games. <laughs> <laughs> everyone just throwing their phones at the roof and shit. Yeah. so happy. <laughs> all I would do would just be... Uh, I would take all the funny clips I have from like the subtitle videos I've made with like you and everyone. Exactly. And then I just like take that and upload it but there you, there you go. go easy money Done. literally well, there's no money. money there is people would watch it there's a, See, the there's thing a is, tiktok there's house literally... called the hype house there's literally tiktokers that just run around on fucking private jets but like because... even if you pulled like five people at the end of the day isn't that worth it yeah and then think technically like, it's a new medium to attract people to your channel yeah also. You, that's exactly what you need for like More minimal effort you already have <laughs> Wait, now you know, that i think of this you think a 12 year old legion just coming <laughs> spamming your twitch chat and looking at all your videos and shit numbers are numbers though they just all spam the squid permaband <laughs> <laughs> you imagine in like a year it's just like oh how'd you how'd you guys all find me and it's just everyone tiktok tiktok, TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> christian just has to change his channel to like a fortnite channel because there's so many kids in a year christian's in like a four million dollar mansion it's like how'd you get this well i had a great youtube career but tiktok tiktok, 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 TikTok took me to that next off. uh next next level and he he stopped doing siege videos like a year ago it's all just dancing videos now. <laughs> he's with the fortnite dancing <laughs> yeah. christian and annie singing to each other side by side <laughs> Dude, those cringy like, love stories. Every ones. single TikTok has Rob <laughs> commenting like cringe. I hate this. Imagine exactly. being twelve. <laughs> I'm gonna go crank cringe, 90s. Give me money. Cringe. Give me money. Cringe. Where's my paycheck? <laughs> like sub message. She's like, bro, I told you to upload TikTok. Give me my commission. Yeah. Like, <laughs> actually, I'll take fifteen percent of every TikTok. They don't make money. 
You're, All right, so, so how you does that have no problem then? <laughs> how, how does sure. the hype house exist then? Because how do they actually make like, money? Well, okay, so a lot of them want is sponsorships. Well, there you go. You can get sponsored so, though. You're but like, I can already get sponsored on YouTube. Okay, see, uh, chat. Yeah, say, or chat. <laughs> chat. <laughs> Comments help us peer pressure <laughs> Christian into doing this. I'll yeah. probably already upload one by the time. Are we, allowed to, are we allowed to call them that? Comments? <laughs> well, what should we call them? Viewers? Listeners? The boys? The bay? <laughs> yeah, the boys. <laughs> boys. Boys. Get boys. on them. Boys and, and girls, I guess. Boys and that one girl that is married. Yeah. That Rob yeah. tries to hit on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm st- if you're still... I guess, <laughs> no, I guess no, she's no, no. Say, if you're still single, but she never no. was single to begin with. Uh, she probably was at one point. You just missed that window. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> It's the missed opportunities. Christian, what Just you, like you're going to miss TikTok. If you know what, is. <laughs> what do you call your viewers? You know how all the YouTubers are like, what's up, low gang? I don't say. I'm just like, low gang. <laughs> sup, shitheads? I, I, I'm literally like, all right, you fuckers. Let me know what you think <laughs> in the comments down below. Um, but like, I did have it for a while. It was like just junior varsity. Because there's like in the States, junior varsity, senior varsity. Yeah, it's too That's why in the Discord. It's fun. That's why in the Discord, it's like senior varsity if you're a sub. We should call them the varsity mm-hmm. gamers. True. The varsity gamers. <laughs> What's wrong with that's that? So bad. It's good. <laughs> it's great. It's the, ro- great. the rock walls. I'm honestly surprised that you guys haven't like colluded at some point where I just give you a really bad idea instead of telling me it's shit. All of you are just like, it's perfect. Go for it. <laughs> and just to watch me like crash and burn. Because our city gamers. All you have is good ideas, man. That's we why. gotta call them the rock climbers. The rock climbers. Christians, yeah, the ro- yeah. rock wall. I have so many people who don't know that my name is like VG Rockwall, even though it's in all the videos. <laughs> They're just like. Are you VG? Well, literally, yeah. every, literally everyone calls you Varsity. Are like, you, yeah. the big, are you the... big Ronda? <laughs> no, big, it's big, big R. R Honda. <laughs> Today we're playing, I heard it like twice. I heard some guy say it like, yo, big R Honda. Are you a Varsity game? <laughs> the first call, he's just like, yo, Honda. Yeah. <laughs> Honda over here. <laughs> so, I was like, you, you'd make, you shot yourself in the foot by assuming people know how to spell Ronda properly. You know what I mean? You should just left the H out. The but, best yeah. is when we're playing together and it's like, I, I'm with Christian. And they're like, oh, no, Drew has two Cs. They're fake. They're imposters. Yeah. And they go to a video, they're like, no, he has two Cs. <laughs> Remember yesterday or the one day we were playing? Just all capitals. was like, fuck Varsity. Oh, I, I want to talk to Rob. I, fuck Varsity game. I'm trying to talk to Rob right now. <laughs> that was the funniest game we played in a while. Oh, t- t- today was funny, too, when those two guys were arguing. Do you remember oh, that? Yeah, that was so awkward. It was like, okay, so we're up three to you, two. You have a clip of it, right? For oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah. on Twitch. But it's like we're up cool, three. TikTok. We're yeah, up to three to two, and then um, my one teammate, like the entire match, has been like, "Okay, guys, yeah, like, we winning. need to do this." Like, and he's helping us. Like, he's being like, "Okay, over here, like, calling out." He's telling everyone what to do because he knows what's happening. And then uh, once it's like two versus five, yeah, the one guy on our team is like on the third floor. I'm on the first floor in sight, and they're pushing into sight. And then our teammate says to the guy on the third floor, "He's just like, why the fuck are you up there? Like, you need to get no, back." He, to yeah, sight. he said it nicely too. Or actually, yeah, yeah he's like. Uh, can you like come back to site like they're taking site we need it and the guy who got talked to was just like hey like you've been telling people what to do all game can you shut the fuck up and, <laughs> just get su- and they argue for like five minutes straight so passive aggressive the guy's like the first guy's like he has a point he's like oh like you know like site was on the first floor don't know why we need someone on the third floor blah 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 and the guy just is just like fuck you man <laughs> you're telling everyone what to do fuck you just like and this gets it's super hostile he's like some of us just want to play the game to play the game like, yeah but we're, we're winning and like because the first time we faced kind of any kind of adversity you don't have to listen to the person yeah exactly and that's what the guy said he was like you can mute me but yeah. he's like, but I'm just trying to tell you like what you should do to help the team. And then like, I just feel like they were just ro- roasting each <laughs> and, other. And back the guy and realized forth. that like, like the second guy realized that like he he's looks like idiot. a dick now. <laughs> so he just starts being like trying to frame the guy, being like, dude. It's your opinion, blah, blah, blah. He <laughs> starts like snapping back at him. Because the nice guy was just like, I'm just trying to give you my opinion. He's like, well, what did you say? He's like, you should come back to say. He's like, that's not an opinion. That's an order. <laughs> and, like, trying to catch him on technical. I was like, okay. Shout out. <laughs> Try hard, Corey. Yeah, that was that was, <laughs> that was the nice guy. Oh man, you're gonna get him sued again. Oh, right. oh yeah. yeah. No, that was the nice guy. We're calling him a nice guy. The other guy's yeah, name oh, was like the other guy was a dick. It's like I think his name was like Sicko or something. Oh, also Twitch. Sicko mode. Sicko something. Mode. Yeah. Bo-bomba. Something really cool happened today. Uh-oh. Someone resubbed. You got a million dollar donation. He resubbed to the Twitch channel. Okay. Two years. He's been subbed at tier two, so ten dollars per month. That was the first time he's ever shared his sub. Really? What the he's fuck? He's never shared his sub before. And he and then I was like What a beauty. When he subbed, What's I, that I mean, looked at the What's okay. that? It means it means he's so, given Christian like three hundred dollars on So he subbed yeah. for ten dollars per month for twenty four months. 
and like so you can whenever you resub you can send through a message yeah or even like you don't have to show the alert but if you want to show the alert being like oh this person resub for this long yeah he's never once done that he subbed for two years at tier two and then i was like i i saw him sub and i was like have you ever resubbed before? Like, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen your name. I was trying to be nice because, like, maybe I just forgot. Yeah. And then I looked at his username, and like, you can see if they've sent messages. He would never sent a single message. Like, he's just that's crazy hard yeah. for really? two years. And I was like, just I was like quietly you. supporting you. Yeah, I was like, my man. The name's Mr. Giggles, by the way. Hey, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fucking Giggles. Giggles. Shout out. And then I was the just like, man. have you like you've never said anything? He just comes and he's like. I just really enjoy your stream, man. And never didn't say anything else after that. Oh, <laughs> what like, beauty. That's when he, like, he accidentally hit share. He's like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> yeah. The boy. That's some wholesome shit. He's probably kicking himself right now for even showing any emotion. <laughs> He's probably like, fuck, man. What a beauty, though. Mm-hmm. Tier two for two years. That's sick. Mm-hmm. My man. We all need a guy like that. Mr. Giggles, lives. make it tier three next year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mr. Giggles. I'll, I mean, <laughs> if you give a Christian this much, I'll just send you my my email address we're working on e-transfer or <laughs> i i recently got a paypal really i just need to do that because like everywhere you, dude fortnite i had the like <laughs> i wanted about the battle pass it would have been so much easier if i had paypal why just because it's two clicks and then you can just link your paypal account this and now i'm out here typing in my man you want to give card. epic your paypal account yeah epic's the best gaming company ever man true and, and I, I can't wait for them to buy every other game and put it in their launcher <laughs> I hope they get Smite, man. That'd be sick. I hope they get Smite. Like a Facebook live streamer. I hope they get Rocket League. I hope they get Siege eventually, man. That would be so cool. <laughs> yeah. then, what would you do then if so, Epic bought Siege? Okay, well, first True. off, they, they wouldn't be able to afford Ubisoft. Well, if they bought but the they game. But they can afford Siege. Like, they, they bought Rocket League. They didn't buy all of Rocket League's. No, they bought Psyonix. Really? Yeah, they bought the company. Shit. Because <laughs> that, that was the only game Kay. that company owned. Hypothetically. Okay, if they somehow manage to buy Ubisoft, I'm pretty sure Ubisoft would never get rid of the Uplay launcher because they like are they put dedicated a lot of to money that. Into Is it. that yeah. what? Uh, but they wouldn't Sionics have a say did. anymore. Well, Epic, well, no, like each subsidiary has a say still. Depends on the contract. Oh yes, yeah, so, like unless Epic's willing to like fire all of Ubisoft they and push compl- their launcher pretty hard. Yeah, yeah that's um, fair. <laughs> but like they're literally honestly, Facebook. That would be a really pressing issue, UB, and it'd be, it'd be stuck, an issue man. of me. I'd be either I stick to my morals, and I'm I'm unemployed. <laughs> nah, you just no, you don't. Nah. No, that's all. Like, you just you you spend about a day scrolling through vods, deleting clips where you're roasting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Facebook CEO offered the snap the guy who made Snapchat two billion dollars, and he said and no. He's right? like, no, I don't want Facebook to own it. Good call on him, but fuck that. You take the two bill. But is his is a snap worth like more than that now? Snap's dead. That's fine. Mm-hmm. It is still worth a lot though. But it doesn't mean he has that. like billions Search. in his bank account. Man, you sell that. You get out. You retire. Your generations retire. You donate half. Yeah, but like I understand where it's coming from. Thinking I can probably make it worth more. But again, I would agree. If it's two billion dollars, he literally his his reasoning was he didn't want Facebook to own it. It's worth twenty five billion. Holy shit! There you go. <laughs> So it's worth more well, than two billion dollars. But like, it's two billion dollars cash versus your company is worth twenty five. Yeah, but if he wants to cash out, he can cash out for at least five, five or six billion because he can, well, all of his shares he doesn't sell. Them. It's it's a matter people of have people have to buy actually, them. Yeah, now. you can't just sell and well, someone's man, gonna buy them. He is gonna make two billion and then some. That's my point. Even if it's three billion, it's worth it. If it's even if it's a billion, who cares? Yeah, that's we're talking nuts. billions of dollars. <laughs> well, here. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But he could have just been like chilling, making more apps for the past whatever years with. Yeah, bill. but then Facebook's gonna run his app into the ground. That's fine. That's true. You have two billion dollars. Yeah, but everything Facebook touches just turns to shit. Which is why he didn't sell it to them. But you have two billion dollars. <laughs> I think you're again. We're stuck in a moral paradox. Well, that's the the whole point is that he stuck to his morals. Yeah. Instead of the money, but jeez, what a that's, weirdo. So I've been thinking about that. So obviously, all these streamers are getting bought out by like mixer, mixer and shit, facebook yeah. and youtube i'm like what would it take for any of them to buy me over and also like would i be willing to answer earlier yeah how much? Yeah. He's, like, like, he's like youtube buy me out i'll take the deal yeah, i would take youtube in a heartbeat like well yeah because you have make your a big content creator you started on youtube technically mm-hmm. right yeah and but like mixer, that's true i was telling uh drew about this is that like there was another siege content creator who normally streams on Twitch. No. no. <laughs> and normally on Twitch, he gets like 40 to 50 viewers. And then he streamed on YouTube and he got 350. Mm-hmm. 
So well, because like, YouTube promotes the shit out of who they want. Well, it's to also promote. just because like they're all YouTubers. They have yeah. that backing. So it's like if I were to go over to YouTube, my viewers would probably increase like tenfold. Yeah. I just like to take credit for telling Christian to go to Twitch. Is that true? I think it was pretty sure it was a Niall. matter of time. Yeah. Like to say Drew was solely responsible for Obviously I'm not yeah. solely responsible. It was one of those things that was gonna happen eventually. But Drew, whether... gave you, Drew gave you a kick in the ass Actually, you did. You didn't fucking no. It we was... were talking during our course and you're like, I don't know if I should switch that's over a, to that's Twitch. A lot. Like, yeah, yeah, we all had that conversation. Yeah, every single person's right. had that conversation yeah. with me. But what all I'm saying is we gotta get our due. No, you get zero no. credit. <laughs> what what forced me over was because the month roasting you and comp The month that I swapped the month that I swapped over to Twitch was when the adpocalypse happened on youtube and my and my monthly ad revenue went from like at the time 2500 per month down to like 1000 mm -hmm. so i was like all right i need to diversify here i still remember my introduction to like youtube gaming as a whole was this guy in our grade 11 class we were in grade 12 at the time right i think yeah because like we like we had heard him talk about your youtube channel and as a joke, I would always rib you every day. I would just come over and just like fuck with you somehow. And then one day I saw him on his YouTube channel. I was like, show me your most viewed video. Do you remember this? Or something yeah. Like that? And I was like, you brought up your Minecraft one. I had like a million. I was like, what the fuck? Do you guys remember before Google bought YouTube, their old video platform? I don't even remember that, to be honest. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Because Google fucking like, gets no in idea. everything now, dude. I like, tried what? to just make a YouTube channel. It wants your, YouTube, it would make, it wants your Google account, too. Yeah. So everything I do on YouTube is then like linked to my Google like, to your, like, activity. Mail and... So then like I do, they like, could say comment on a video. I get like 10 emails, like five from Google saying, check this, check this, check this. Another, another five being like mm -hmm. random account things, right? You commented this on this. Someone responded to this. It's like, I don't need this shit. I, I, I don't, if I could take my Google account out of my YouTube, that would be perfect. Yeah. But now it's like is needed. Were yeah. you asking what the name of the platform was that Google owned before they bought I YouTube? I forget. I'll look it up. There was a there that there, there was, was that. There were some jokes videos on there though. It was always like the most random things because all the good stuff was on YouTube. Like shoes. Remember no, that video? Like animals just doing dumb shit. Oh, that sounds like a good time. Uh, did you guys ever watch that shoes video though? Or it's like, let's, let's get, get some shoes. Let's get some shoes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I remember I watched Jesus. that, and then my my, oh. my dad found out about it and was so fucking mad. He didn't <laughs> let me go to. Yeah, I was supposed to go see a movie with a buddy that night. It had The Rock in it. I just, that's all I remember. <laughs> Because I was a huge fan of The Rock when I was a kid. So my dad was like, you're not going to see that movie And I was used to watch E-Bombers World, like Trogdor. You e ever watch Trogdor? No. Trogdor. Why does that sound so familiar? Man. That Love sounds so familiar. Loser. Isn't Trogdor a song man. by uh, a band that wore costumes and shit? Maybe. I don't know. I There's swear. this guy. He literally drew like a it. stick figure dragon and then just gave him like a beef muscle arm, like a Rob size arm. And his name was Trogdor. Danny. He made this whole like story about how he's going through this village, like burning and eating people alive, but it's all like drawn on a piece of paper. That's fucked. It was just like the weirdest thing, but hilarious. Early YouTube was fucking weird. Yeah. It was just like people who shouldn't that wasn't even be making videos, no. making videos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that was like just stay in your e basement. Bombs world and whatever that other one was called. AOL or, like, Newgrounds. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, Newgrounds is like, like a gaming one, website. Like, no, it also had animation and stuff. Oh, the one about the guy like blowing up the world. Which one was that? It's like it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's like where, where break they break off Hawaii and they're like Alaska can come too. <laughs> I don't I don't remember seeing this stuff. Are you talking about the one where it's just no. like they're like they're the fucking world? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> you lost me for the last ten minutes. I've just what? been here in my own world. <laughs> like this has been good. <laughs> this is my childhood. Man. I'm sitting here like, oh, what what am I gonna climb then? Yeah. <laughs> like, what Wait, the you guys, fuck you is guys this? didn't watch End of the fucking World? Never. I'm sure I did. I have no it idea what that like, is. Where they're it's talking memorable. about like one guy's gonna blow up and then all the other countries are talking about how like what they're gonna do and it's just like, oh, and then the French are like, we want to like send our nukes too but we're tired let's take a nap yeah, but and then send tired. the nukes yeah i have no idea what you're talking about like, zero idea are you are you the same as me i've seen homework it, but... fucking hilarious i'll watch it tonight you guys remember rage comics nope. no no that's just you because you, you were an edgy kid <laughs> no like <laughs> rage green comic. hair relaxed <laughs> like the the troll face and like the forever alone those are rage comics i didn't, I didn't know that i never actually watched it yeah no but they're all like not videos but like just <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch the hours. I never. I never watched them. Man. I never ate the comics. So. <laughs> I never sat and watched. I never them. played that game. Yeah, sorry. Yes. <laughs> never saw that episode. To be honest, <laughs> it's a good movie. <laughs> um, Is it on Netflix? 
Oh, God. Are we ready for a little bit of controversy? I'm down. If I have uh, to. Is this going to be your comments from before? I So this is a genuine question. I want someone to explain to me why people like like so we'll use we'll use what's, teachers it, what's, for what's context like zero for what i'm, I'm explaining okay 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 I thought <laughs> can you, you explain i thought you were getting right into it i was like and like zero politics i don't care why anyone's striking i don't understand why teachers and like why why do they don't strike at like city hall like why are you picketing some random plaza and like preventing people from entering the plaza like if you want the public to be on your okay, side yeah, why yeah, are yeah, you yeah. just like inconveniencing the public okay so why would you affect Christian someone else's is, way you, of life? We've, we've spent way too much time on this. You've yeah. explained this 50 I fucking times to this kid. That's why I'm angry. <laughs> you've explained this. Honestly, I've watched you explain this 20 <laughs> fucking times to you. And then every day you come back and, I saw a teacher outside with a sign again. <laughs> I don't care that they're <laughs> <straight>. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Someone should just run them all over. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite I don't comment. understand why they strike where they do. It doesn't make okay, sense. I'll explain in a second. But my favorite it's comment that Drew has... the shortest walk for everyone, man. That's my... No. My, I don't care about anything else. It's only question. My favorite comment that Drew has made on all this oh, is goodness. why are they striking on the weekdays? They should strike on the weekends. <laughs> no. Drew. You're taking it out of context. You, you literally took Alright, what was the context? The context is if they're for the kids, oh. why are they taking kids out of school instead of striking on but the weekend? Like you're not for the kids. You're kids fucking are probably the kids. But you can't strike and also work at the same time. That's literally the exact opposite of a strike. That's fine. What well, work normal hours, nine to five. You'd strike from three to five when school's out. <laughs> yeah. No. You would get Come nothing. Because yeah, then everyone's know. like, oh, you can live like this forever. You have, you, you have to take something away from them yeah, for it to them to realize. But also, no, also. But you're, you're fucking over the kids. No, I understand that. I don't agree See, with I it. I literally said no poll. Like I don't care about any of this. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, why are they I don't agree with that classes? either. I don't agree with that either. Okay, so the reason why is because if they're striking only at like the teachers' places or whatever, they're not going to get any attention. The whole but point like, of striking is to get attention mm -hmm. because if, like, let's say Rob, he probably has like five kids. And um, <laughs> Two of them and, and he wants them to get a good education, even though he's not there for them. But he sees, uh, Wait, even no, though he's not, not there for them, <laughs> pay me. A, when I do have kids, I better not hear this. But anyway, so like, let's say he's just driving down the road and he sees all the teachers striking, and he's like, "My kid's not getting an education." He gets pissed off. He goes to the board and just like, "You guys need to fucking fix this," and it just gets other people upset and also pushes them towards the board. Whereas if they only strike. At like the government places, <laughs> the people are be like, "Fuck off!" Like we don't care. And they're just gonna look at them standing outside in the cold doing nothing. But like, <laughs> if you're striking and preventing people from turning into plazas, I, I don't care what you're striking about. You're are. inconveniencing me, man. There was they literally shut down the intersection uptown, and people were just standing in the middle of the intersection with like police cars and everything. Okay, well, it that's no dumb. Sense. Like, it makes were, no sense. If they, were, if they were doing this on like. I don't know. Like, like go stand outside go. Doug but Ford's house. It, it brings attention. I yeah, think it's the point. You're point. trying to gain, bring attention. Man, so if there's a bunch of people preventing Doug Ford from getting to work, media is going to be all over that. He, he doesn't care. He's probably going to stay that's, home that's that day. Point. He literally would run them over in his car. He doesn't care about them standing at a plaza. <laughs> you're trying to get more people um, behind the cause. Yeah. That's how you do it. And I understand your whole point is, oh, but if you're holding up traffic or whatever, I'm going to go against the cause. Yeah. But like, no. the whole point is just getting attention. And once you get that attention, even if it's like you pissed off all these people for blocking a intersection, you're going to have Rob over here who's like, I want the best for my bastards. And then he <laughs> for my, goes for my snows. <laughs> yeah. And then he goes I and hate my them. kid, but only I'm allowed to hate my kid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, he, like it's about getting other people who aren't getting affected by it to like rally behind you. I guess so. I would, I would, I, I'm a double-edged sword on this topic. It's an e easy way out to take both sides. But first... I, <laughs> That's what you always do. Yeah. <laughs> well, because you've got to pad yourself. You know what I mean? You can't piss off too many people at once. True, true. But That's like, why everyone loves Rob. <laughs> yeah. But like the the Drew side of things... Yeah, like, if it, like say I was, like was going to be on time for work. And then like there was a strike right in the middle of somewhere that didn't, didn't need to be there. And it made me late. I'd be pretty pissed. I don't. I don't know if I would react. I don't know if I would take my frustration and go straight to the school board, like like you said. But like, so the point of that is, you are now talking about it. You yeah, are I'm now talking telling about it, but other people. Again, it's oh like I God, think I it's, fell right into their fucking trap. Exactly. <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's not irrational to say, okay, you can protest. Just don't protest like in the middle of the road when I'm trying to go somewhere. I. But on the flip side, again, yeah, if they just if they were in a park by themselves, no one's gonna give a shit, right? You know, so you got to find that happy medium where you don't piss off the general public. 
but at the same time you like are making I guess your it, statement it all so, comes back to no publicity is bad publicity exactly and operation paperclip too yeah that too well, and thumbtack don't the, forget thumbtack the teachers were uh, striking at the schools but the issue is like all the schools like tucked away so like you're protesting yeah, there my no school. one's there yeah. if there's a school if there's a school no I went to there'd be like 10 people class, who would so. see it. there was a, a strike for some of the, like the Loblaws unions a while back where it was like I think it was the Windsor group where they they like picketed and then Loblaws was like ah, funny we'll ship in like people from every <laughs> Toronto Waterloo store and run those stores anyway well you guys pick it <laughs> and so they kept the stores open the whole time it was about a week but the thing is is like because Windsor's such like a it's like a pretty factory city it's like loaded to like a small Detroit pretty much yeah, yeah. so it's it, like the the union and the people are like tied together no one shopped there and then they picketed right around the store so if you got in you're getting yelled at so everyone <laughs> just stayed away and they got what they wanted because it was an inconvenience like they weren't yeah. making any sales does that help that that's fine that's but, like, but i can't that's like, you can go to another grocery store correct right? exactly but i can't relate that to teaching when like, you're like you holding can't... students at the fucking bargaining i table. guess to a point that's like you're using kids as like black as the chip. leverage whereas but they were they're using... not yeah. they're all for the kids yeah. also okay uh we we talked about this on the friday when we went to breakfast <laughs> they're mm. all for the kids um <laughs> that's where... why we're canceling swim meets <laughs> and i know i know both of you have said this is that uh being like oh they're just fighting for more pay they don't care about like anything else and so the reason or one thing I learned from Zares when I talked to Leanne, our like union rep, she always she was like, oh, she talked rep. to a union rep. We, we had one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she, would, she was like she hated the union like because she hated be, uh, working so Don't hard for it. Don't expose her like this. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> no, I'm but so hands out home is cursing herself. She, she gets fired tomorrow. <laughs> Where'd this come from? She just gets she's like walking to, yeah. to her car after work and just someone she's comes like, and caps her. Like, <laughs> didn't that one guy tell a customer to like go fuck themselves and the union's like that nah, will protect you? <laughs> yeah, of course. That's Something an easy like case. That. That's an easy <laughs> case. <laughs> Union, that's so in the anywhere one, else you get fired in one ear or the other for the union Fuck so it. anyways <laughs> what, she, what she told me about the union is that whenever like they want to do a strike or they need negotiations the people will always bring a lot more to the table than what they want they'll like add on random shipping like mm-hmm. our safety um like we want to raise we want better break rooms all this shit because they know they're not going to get it all get some but then if it. you start high and then they're like oh we'll counter offer you with this you're like okay sure it's like bargaining so for the, it's just literally bargaining for the last time we like it goes back and forth and then the union declined so then they have one more chance to get it or everyone goes on strike so what the company the company was genius they're like <laughs> oh let's look at our staff it's like i don't know 35 40 percent like full-time and the rest is part-time so like let's just offer every single part-time person a couple hundred bucks <laughs> so we all got like a like a two hundred dollars extra on our paycheck. So like every all, every, all the part time like the fuck fuck over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It away. and then all the full time just get fucked, fucked. over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that full time like lost a week of sa- like lost like their pay didn't go up as high. They lost a week of vacation. The Zer- <laughs> they didn't <laughs> Oh, it was jokes, but because they offered the part-time people such a good deal, everyone's like, "Yeah, fucking right, let's yeah, do it." I don't care. <laughs> like yeah. I, the union literally saved my position at Zares. They they forced Zares to move me from the back to the front, or else they would have tried to fire me. And we would have never met you. Literally, imagine yeah. the union is responsible for this today. <laughs> so Drew, <laughs> you hate unions? Huh? No, not all. Man, not all unions work like that. Like though. you learn in economics, like it's a thing where yeah. there's insiders and outsiders and like if you're an outsider of a union you get fucked if you're an insider they're like you love them but it also depends it's on the like, union it's like a theory some unions are fucked like the i can't think of a concrete example but like enough, <laughs> some enough, of them are fucked. enough to know that i've heard scuttlebutt that unions aren't always positive mm-hmm. but like that european one i don't yeah. know even for, <laughs> even for me i feel like it always just saves the people you don't want yeah, yeah like like that's the what guy it is that's there telling for. customers yeah. to go fuck themselves yeah <laughs> he's get, he's getting saved it also he like, should not have that and it job. has no benefit on someone who's doing their job every single well, day well it yeah. gets you benefits like when we got like the dental and all that yeah. stuff like, you, like, you wouldn't get that job will that. Give you that. But we wouldn't convinced. have had that as a part time worker Fair. anywhere it's so, like it helps yeah. everyone in that regard it, the thing is it still takes you like two years to get access to that stuff so yeah. like but it's still close I got my fucking wisdom team though and it cost me a hundred dollars yeah, which it was, awesome. was fourteen hundred yeah, to take mine out, and I was like, "The fuck Thank was you, on yeah. it? Was yeah. through mouth? What the fuck?" No, mine. That's Wisdom just what it cost. Yeah. Really? Yeah, mine yeah. was I surgery. Guess I, have, I have no idea how much mine were. My, I was under my parents at the time. Yeah. Mine was so. fourteen hundred. I had to pay one hundred and sixty. Yeah, yeah, which is 
That's like my race. braces, but that wasn't anything to do with it. <laughs> it, was just, it was just being <laughs> white. <laughs> no, no. I it, walked it in was and they were like, work. That's all privilege. good, buddy. We got you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just sign here. Uh, you can let see us those pay teeth you. from the other side of the parking <laughs> let, lot. Let us pay you for your service here. <laughs> as long as I go and tell everyone you Actually, know. Actually, my buddy, uh, for like his braces orthodontics, he got before and after pictures taken of him, and they gave him like a discount because they let him do that. Oh, what the fuck? I wish mine did that. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, because like they were gonna use him. Because he was like a, a somewhat attractive dude, and he had like good teeth at the end of it. Uh, so they're like, "Let us use your picture." Somewhat attractive. He's a good looking dude. He's a guy. I guess that's a feature. We're good and look looking enough. I was like, "You've convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Set us up. <laughs> Give me another six months of this dry streak, and I'll hump a pillow for all I care, man." God damn it! You don't do that already. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say the basement. And- Rob's yeah, house yeah, Rob's got like a pillow with like half the feathers left in it. Oh, no feathers in there. <laughs> Just stuff it full of like and microwave, <laughs> microwave jello. When you use the pillow now, it's like putting your head onto a water bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's just so crusty. It's like yeah, it's, it's they're like a block of wood. <laughs> oh. The pillows, pillows, the pillows don't serve the purpose anymore. Let's just say his childhood teddy bear has seen better days. No, I would never do that to my childhood teddy bear, what man. What the hell? I don't know. That's you messed t- up. You can go to prison for that kind of thing. <laughs> Imagine I'm just that's looking the- for like validation of his action. <laughs> 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 that that Snorlax in the fucking streaming room has probably gotten his fair share of spankings. Whoa. Imagine Rob walks into your work tomorrow. He's just like, where are the melons? <laughs> yeah. like, also, I need a knife. Yeah. Where's your biggest cantaloupe that has the most seeds and shun the inside? Is the most girt. I mean, uh, <laughs> where's your apple pies? <laughs> Are they preheated? Are they preheated, or do I have to? You know, <laughs> you guys have a microwave I can borrow. I'm in a bit of a rush today. That's oh god, that'd be so a microwave one. It gets so hot so fast. Ugh. You'd burn your dick off. I'm. I'm trying gross. to think about that. Oh uh, yikes! Try not to yet. think about that after you just said it. I didn't say it. You said it. Okay. <laughs> You're the guilty one here, man. Get your mind out of the gutter. Rob, you're gonna make great friends at your new job, buddy. I hope so. They're gonna they're all gonna be like boomers, but like I'm still excited. <laughs> I'm gonna be boomers. So funny that like did the on stream we were I was just talking about it being like, man, they took that's been like a week. No, the best is again I was telling like before before your stream we were just chatting. And yeah. I, I popped in because he was sitting there waiting and he's like I'm like, What are you up to? He's oh like, yeah, yeah. Like he's like, resume. yeah, he's like making a resume. He's like googling the word acquired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I have to Google every other word too. Yeah. I was <laughs> spell check. <laughs> anyway, anyway, he's going completely <laughs> wrong. Regardless, going on, he's like, oh, I got these jobs I'm gonna apply for, but I don't think this is gonna work out. And then like three hours later, I see that in the group chat, I call him right away. I'm like, is this the same one? I was is like, yeah. Same fucking job you were talking about hours ago. I was like, dude, what a turn of the events. The best is you missed the call because you were playing C. <laughs> <laughs> that's great i ran upstairs and i have, well not ran i went upstairs like you know i wasn't expecting anything different maybe it's like a couple thing check my phone i have a missed call from some unknown number and i was like oh shit like what could, what could this be and then i scroll further my notifications and there's a gmail from them and i was like i took my half and threw it into the ceiling <laughs> man can you imagine it's not even actually the real job it's just what like an advanced scam caller yeah, <laughs> yeah they man. got him when i was applying at zares i did my interview and then i drove back to school because i had to like study for an exam and I'm walking out of my car into the calculus room and I get a call. And it was like a 1-800 number and I almost didn't pick it up. But it was like them offering really? me the job. Yeah, it's the same with me. I literally had gotten to my car in the parking lot. And they're like, okay, yeah. we'll let you know in a couple of days. And it was like 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hey, uh, like a half do, you want, do you want a job? Time. Can you please start tomorrow? Dude, <laughs> they must have been so desperate because my resume at the time like oh, no, was just nothing but like... Vo- amazing, right? My, res- my resume was like a freaking like macaroni picture like with glue <laughs> and like maybe my handprint paint. Yeah. Like <laughs> Mine was like, I know English. I, yeah. <laughs> well, kind like, of. <laughs> I, had, I had no work experience and I it like was just produce. volunteer shit. It was like, oh, I've reffed a flag football tournament at my school. Yeah, how does this oh. relate? They literally, I was like, yeah. Well, like, luckily they hired me because that was like, they started off my retail experience. I'd say that was a pretty good job for a first job. So for sure, my elementary school used to have like uh, awards <laughs> every month, and like every teacher would be like, oh, this te- like student in my class is like he's made the most improvement, or like he's always yeah. the most helpful, or the she most or whatever. Improved every month. And then I got like I got every month. Times. I got like eight of the awards. Like it was just like student excellence. Weird and I put that on my resume for Sarah's. I was like eight time award winner for student <laughs> excellence. <laughs> Two time Super Bowl champion, eight in, time student award winner. In my winner. current job, I referenced uh, at Zares when I got that like one of those yellow pins for client experience. 
Oh yeah, I, I had literally to do that too, like I was doing of. buggies and some like old lady dropped her detergent under her car and just like I I just reached down and picked it up, put it in her car. She's like, "Thank you so much." And she called into Zares and she's like, "That boy on carts is well, the best." Hey, hey, good on you, man. That was a good good and call. And then by I you. traded that. Oh, I think I already said this, but I traded that for a five year pin. And then I oh, you did you, you did say that. I'm like, give me that. Now that back. you mention it, on my when I worked at home. D- but yeah, I use that scenario. Works, right? <laughs> yes. well, I don't know, man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he always like, checks with Christian. Well, like, on stream today, he's just like, he's like the one place. And he's like, the orange place is like, Zares? He's like, oh, no, no, no. He's like trying to find a way to tell me like, just say it. Like, it's like, oh, <laughs> and literally right after I was like doing that, I said like, like something here. I forget what it was. Like, as long as you don't reference like some small town place that like, they're going to be like, oh, I can just go there and find out where Rob worked and I guess hunt so. him down. <laughs> but, like, I worked at the Home Depot. I would get, like, Homer Awards, they were called, for doing good customer service. <laughs> just it was just Homer Simpson on the back. Just because like, Homer. The, like, I'm not going to lie. The, most of the staff there treats, like, old people like shit. Like, the staff, like, they come in. They don't think they know what they're doing. They just kind of brush them off. But if you spend the time, like, nine times out of ten, an old person will call in and tell them about your good customer service thing, right? Man. So, that, that was, like, a like a life hack. Just help out all the all the old people. And then they could all call in. <laughs> hey, like, hey, like hey. I would just carry their mulch out, to, mulch out to their car and stuff. And they'd be like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so much. And then, like, literally the next day, I'd have another Homer He's, he's got a trophy cabinet full of things. And then on my resume, I had a... Ten-time Homer recipient. Eleven-time <laughs> 11 Homer award recipient. That I'll, like, Two-time day. employee of the month. <laughs> and then someone, when I got, when I worked, was working for the source or interview in there they're like what's a homer award what is that and i was trying to explain it they were like is it called homer because of home depot and i was like yes, yes that's why it's called that we had an employee of the month at, like when i first got hired really but it, it died real quick but just, <laughs> this, this it was just a popularity thing Corey yeah. acts that yeah <laughs> i had a uh, try hard Corey. The, the only time i ever had someone like i didn't get an award for it but really praised Rich. me was i was <laughs> i was doing my daily uh like you know where you take the well you sure as hell weren't pushing carts i'll put i'll say that you take the baskets to the you scan and then you just stand over there for like two hours talking to whoever's yeah, over yeah. there no you go back and do your job no well, depend- no, 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 no that was a daily occurrence yes. De- depending who was working the you scan so, also fair, true fair, fair. so i was standing over there it's i think sonia i'm out of there but <laughs> i was just like chatting with whatever girl was there and then um a whatever guy comes he knows up to exactly me. who it was yeah but I, well, it was one of the <laughs> popular ones. But anyways, I was just Jamie. chatting with them. And um, this guy comes up to me and like with a really thick Hispanic accent. And it's just like, the bakery is closed because it was like 11 p.m. And he's like, I really need like that cupcake right there. And I was like, fuck it. Sure. So I just walked back there. I just like open it. Uh, I had no idea like what to do. So I just typed in whatever codes I could find and just stuck his stick on it. And to him, he's like freaking. I was like, thank you so much, sir. He charged me 20 bucks yeah, for a like, cupcake. 30 bucks for a cupcake. But he was so happy. And then was he went to like a salmon. He went to the customer service where like Kristen was working. And she's like, did you help that guy? I was like, yeah. And she was like, he would not stop talking about how amazing you were. And I was yeah. like, oh, And then you get reprimanded for going into the bakery. <laughs> but that'd be Jokes. pretty funny. He must have really wanted the goddamn cupcake, though. <laughs> he, he looked like a probably 30, 40 year old man. He forgot it and was his like daughter's birthday the next day. <laughs> he had like some like party stuff, so I yeah. think he was getting something for someone's <laughs> birthday. I was like, okay. <laughs> what a classic move. Yikes. Yeah, depending on the management, you would have gotten fired by someone Dude, else there. Honestly, I, I don't know how I survived. I think I already told you guys the time where like they buzzed me over the intercom and then I just like buzzed back and i was like cancel christian and i just hung up <laughs> i did that so much depending on who because like, if it was like emily calling like uh shane to i think it was and, emily <laughs> yeah <laughs> cancel shane <laughs> and then she'd be like shane to front end immediately like, oh, <laughs> i gotta fucking go now yeah. oh, we in it now you're like sprinting because you're dead <laughs> i would love the customers who knew like we were just fucking around and they'd be like laughing with us like I hear yeah. you guys on the intercom. The best is when, like, you'd be at you, like the the mall you scan, and you literally like you you hear the phone ring, and then you start to walk away because you know, and they're like, yeah. "Oh, uh, is Shane there?" And like, "Oh, no, 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 he's no. not." Yeah. <laughs> the real one. The real one. <laughs> Remember when our my friend. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name because we're not gonna talk anymore. But JW, remember him? Yeah, yeah. He worked in the meat department. And like just the worst worker ever, right? <laughs> but, Surprise! But like one night it was like nine o'clock. He picks up the thing, like, oh, a penis, and puts it back up again. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> You've met him. Yeah, you yeah. Should it was like it's not a character whatsoever, but it was hilarious. I just remember working, and then he texted me, "Did you hear that?" With a bunch of, with a bunch of crying emojis. I was like, "Yeah, man." He put it over the store intercom. Yeah, lots man, of people probably heard it. The funniest thing is before before Brandon left. 
he literally pulled me into the front office. It was like him and Emily. They're like, Drew, like, we want to train you on cash and all this stuff. And he's like hyping me up. I'm like feeling myself. And then like a week later, he got fired and didn't tell anyone that he wanted to like train me on cash. Who did? But he yeah. got fired? No, no, he, no, he, he left. left. He, he got like uh, a government job. Brandon. Uh, right. One of the front end people. I think mean, it sounds so familiar. Was he? He was like, gay. he never, he never. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, I, know, no, I no, knew no, that no, would do no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's all he did. Dude, like, he was he such like a never, beauty, though. Yeah, he yeah, helped yeah, me out of so many tough spots. He was man. a pretty sick guy. Yeah. yeah. Like, no, like. I made sure I didn't need to use my union rep. <laughs> yeah, literally. No, one time I was shafted, man. There was like, there was like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I it was like, 11 o'clock at night and I, I got shafted, shafted and, and, he he me. and he came over and he was quite helpful <laughs> he got me out of a tight situation <laughs> but uh, no it was like it was like oh, no. I literally had to go in cash for some reason because like I forget what was, I think it was the last cash person called and, like they were like I feel like shit I'm going to leave at like 10.30 mm -hmm. and I was like okay Classic. of course there was one last customer to come in and no one else had to use cash and I'm saying they were trying to, to run through stuff I have no idea how to punch the produce codes in. I'm putting everything in twice by accident. And he just comes out and he's just like, dude, like, this is pathetic. Just like, get out of here. Just like, bag this shit. Like, like, I, I, got, I can't like, watch this Yeah, anymore. literally. Because he was like doing all the closing, like, front end shit, right? And then I'm just like trying so hard to get this guy out of the thing. And I'm just sitting there sweating my ass off, like, fucking up so hard. And he's just like, dude, I'll do this. Like, I can tell you're just fucking this, like, poor guy's night. I had, like, the same thing one time where it was uh, the 11 o'clock person want to take their break. And they didn't have anyone to cover. And I was like, oh, I know, like, a little bit of cash. I can hop on. And then she but left. Came back 15 minutes later. I was still in the same order. <laughs> <laughs> she had left on. And it was, like, lined up with 10 people. <laughs> Friends just staring at me, like, what the fuck's wrong with this you? This is great. Well, usually the people that come in at, like, past 10 are just, like, baked or like don't really care what's going on and they yeah. just like they're usually pretty agreeable customers you get the one person that's got 30 things from and then, there's, then there's that one like night shift worker who's coming in to do their full week's grocery yeah. shop and they had like two minutes to get to their shift and they're just freaking the fuck out I'm like dude it's 11 o'clock it's not my fault you work <laughs> nights like today get out of here man it's stressing me out god damn rob's taking 15 minutes to like go through the high guys order of a box of condoms <laughs> yeah. and like doritos it's and always like, like doritos ah. condoms and like a can one can of pop <laughs> yeah like mountain dew yeah it's like Red dude Bull. go to your, your local gas station don't come here you <laughs> fucking weirdo i had a group of like six guys who were fucking baked out of their mind come in <laughs> and all they bought was just a little container of eye drops and like put it on there and then just all giggling. We're buying Visi. Jeez. We need it because our eyes are red. <laughs> They're like, it's for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not for me. <laughs> like says buddies. That was a good one, eh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think he's not on your mind. Hour and 20-ish, so we can wrap her up. Yeah, Huge. Drive wrap her up on the topic of condoms. You always use condoms unless you're trying to have Don't a kid. Don't be silly, wrap you, Lily. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. But. Um, <laughs> what should we prompt the comments with? We're gonna peer, we we're about? gonna peer pressure you into making a TikTok account. Yeah. Would yeah. you follow me on TikTok? Yeah. Would you follow Varsity Gaming? I on already TikTok? have one. It's Varsity Gaming TV. No question. Actually, just yeah. spam. No. Just spam. Post a TikTok in just the comments. Make your first TikTok something about like you know, like Drew or something to see what. I happens. can honestly probably post some of these funny things we've said on the podcast. Yeah. It would not surprise like, me if like it a worked. Clip of it or something. Yeah. Um. Like. <laughs> Well, we need that. Who was Brandon? He was gay. Oh <laughs> no, that actually like he's got to find the ones where we just roast someone at the table. Yeah, we we go. Who hasn't been gotten really roasted? Shane's kind of evaded getting roasted. For Everyone the in the good. comments is always just like, "Who is Shane?" Like you never know anything about him. <laughs> My favorite. Next episode, the longest baby. Let's go. <laughs> the next episode is literally just gonna only be about Shane. Shane's the mastermind that brought everyone together. Pretty much. Yeah. I, I just love the one comment. Like, I love seeing Shane become more comfortable around these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Little we've they known know. him for like. Little. You don't know the half of it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy trained me at theirs like eight years ago <laughs> on my birthday. Do you remember that? You trained it was all? great. Well, yeah. we just went just like to the carts. mall. Yeah. Like, he was like, oh, I remember you were telling Noble. You were just like, oh, we're, I'll be back. We're, we're, just, we're just going for a mall run and I thought it was like two hours later I thought it was like we literally go and do our job no we go to the food court we kind of fuck around and go to the galaxy for a bit just yeah. like literally come back two hours later Play and no one games. bats an eye that was the thing no one gave a it was shit. like three, three hours of nothing and then you had to put in like 45 minutes of actually yeah, you had to, solid you work you had to grind out some carts for a bit Man, the most messed up thing just thinking back is like MS trained me on carts and we had to go through a mall run and there was one point in my life when I'm like 17 walking through the back alleys of the mall just alone yo that was so sick though 
Yeah, I'm yeah, say. yeah. <laughs> going through like the little like secret passageways and like seeing like the you feel like you're not allowed to be there. But I know. Yeah. Wait, you're oh, I never got there. that. Yeah, we yeah, always you, wandered through the carts. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I got the train. You have to after. bring the carts I, back afterwards. <laughs> There's so many shortcuts in the mall. I, yeah. I remember uh, when we did my training. Um, it was the same guy who taught me or taught you that taught me. And Rough. literally, we walked by the jewelry <laughs> store it one piece. and he just stopped me. He's just you. like, "See that store right there?" Like, yeah. He's like. Uh, car guy like just shattered half their glass last week. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he was like taking fifty carts through the mall and just tried to turn a corner with it and just yeah, went. Yeah. Right what was your guys' the record through the mall? I think mine was like about I want to say fifteen. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm more worried about the snow records. Mine was like like forty five, forty six. Yeah, I was always too scared because like, you would get to that what? point where all the kiosks. Yeah, were... and, but like it was like me and do you remember Dustin? We're like, yeah, fuck it. That, it's a that, Tuesday. He was a huge guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Kinda, yeah. But it was like a Tuesday. We're like, we're just doing this in one trip. So one of us would just push and the other would be like on the front just yes. kind of steering. <laughs> the and then Express. you're literally just getting chased by fucking mall cops because <laughs> they didn't want us in the mall at all. Yeah. And we're pushing like 50. We're like, <laughs> we're like pushing a mile long cart chain through the mall. It's like a cart centipede. Yeah. Oh. The fucking mall cops, the best. Dude, dude, you're not a cop, and you didn't go to school to be a cop. <laughs> Chill the fuck yeah. out, man. You're never gonna be a cop either. Oh, goddamn, geez, Rob. No, they, they're treat their, I, they I take their more, job way too seriously. I see more passion in that Passing. statement than Drew in the strikes. <laughs> yeah, they always fuck with like me at my current job. Like, not just me, but like the store at my current like place. Man, we'll say that for next week. Okay. So, um, well, I could, mall cops I'm on the docket. <laughs> I, I could go off. There you go, but folks. I'll save it. I'll tease you. All right. Ooh. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you guys next week, hopefully. I, I should be back in time, unless like anything bad happens in Montreal. Like My flight gets delayed. I but... took it a life insurance. I hope you break a leg, yeah. I hope okay. that you get robbed and beat up on the street. <laughs> We paid off a bunch of people to meet yeah. at the airport. They're going to they're gonna send me all your cards after. <laughs> they're going to break your legs and your place. Can be canceled. It's gonna be on yeah. time. And on, top, <laughs> and on top of that, someone's gonna overcook your uh, burger that you eat for. Fuck. Yeah. They're gonna cancel your train. And, Sorry. <laughs> and wherever you go is not gonna have Shirley Temples on the menu. And, and, and you'll be forced oh. to order a beer. You're gonna order the Parm fries, and they're not gonna come with Parmesan. Oh. Or or heck? aioli. Yeah. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. I don't know what any of that Sorry, meant. sir. <laughs> we don't have sweet potato fries. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you Sorry, know who sir. I am? <laughs> We don't have, have Coke, a only account. Pepsi. Oh, yeah, what the hell? No one drinks pop. What? That was... Oh, okay, end it. No, uh, <laughs> okay. You ruined it, end it, end Bye. it. <laughs>